All right, welcome back to another World of Warships Blitz video. Um, today, we're going to start talking about the IGN battleship line. So as you see, i got the Fuso up right now. And just, you know, the quick overview of the uh, IGN line. I mean, I could go start at Congo, but you start with precise aims there. You know, that's the first, uh, Congo's the first one you get a ship skill with. And, uh, you know, I've, I, I talked about this in my first video I did when I was showing off the Amagi. The line itself, you know, Congo, Fuso, Nagato, kind of all have that generic battleship play style. They're, they're, they're relatively, relatively, uh, I don't want to call them tanky, but, you know, they're, they're, they're more mainline battleships. Then you get into the Amagi and the Izumo. And those are the pinch points, the hard points on the line. Because, you know, you you basically play the same through Congo, Fuso, Nagato. Amagi's a total different play style because it's a battle cruiser, not a battleship. Izumo with its let gun layout is another just weird one. And then, you know, is it worth it to get to Yamato? I still think it is. Yamato, to me, is still a very, very strong battleship. Even though it's one of the oldest ones in the game, it's still very strong with all the other ships that have been in introduced into the game. So let's real quick just start with the, the Fuso. Um, close to 40,000 hit points, not bad. You know, your Citadel protection, your fire flooding resistance, your damage reduction, not great, but not bad. Uh, your max speed's 24 knots. Turn time could be a little bit better. Your main guns, they're, they're real nice main guns. These 356 is pretty nice. You got 12 of them. You know, over 12 kilometer range at tier 6, which is real nice. Um, you know, 1400 damage per shell. That's pretty damn good. Tur for, turret traverse is a little slow, but not it's manageable. Um, seven secondaries on each side with a 5.4 kilometer range. Not bad. Like AA, forget about it. And your surface detection, though, is atrocious at 12 kilometers. Um, now, because you're tier 6, you don't have the opportunity to run dispersion, which I would love to do on this ship. I've, I've chosen to go with main battery traverse speed. Um, I haven't really tested this main battery mod 2. I haven't tested it out enough to know if it's viable or not if you're going to get your turret shot off too much. Um, and I'm running acceleration and I'm running steering for right now. Um, I've just got this Crimson Shogun Commander on here just just because. Um, you know, we've got the uh, Underwater Protection Expert, the tor Torpedo Alert. He's got a victorious charge plus gives you a little more hit points if you uh, destroy an enemy ship, so that's nice. Um, and with all the ships in this line, you're going to want the artillery maintenance expert for the extra dispersion when you're healthy. And then obviously I've got fire supremacy for the extra precise aim right now. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can get some decent matchmaking. I did try another game earlier, and I just got it was too many bots to even really show it. So what do we got? Double Florida, a bot rook, two New Mexicos, a mono, and Oba. All right, so this one should be a pretty good uh, showing for Fuso. It's on uh, Okinawa Domination, which that's a nice map for uh, Tier 6. You don't see that too often. At least I don't anyways. Okay, so there's no destroyers in play, which is kind of nice. So let's see where our Belfast and our bot Francesco is going. I think I'm going to give Belfast a little bit of support as he's in A. And uh, we'll kind of slow play this and see where people are showing up at. I don't really want to get too exposed, especially the Floridas. You know, they're not the most heavily armored chips in the games, but boy, they hit hard. Hmm. 
Army Belfast is going into C. Uh, I can't quite tell what ship that is. Not gonna. Eh, I don't think it's the bot. No, yeah, because there's the bot rook. All right. Well, the bot rook just poked its head out and is doing some silly stuff. shot at him since he's finally starting to move in a normal in a predictable manner and uh, not quite all right look at Eisenhower and them take the uh, New Mexico on let's try to get this damn bot out of the center first all right so we got a, a mono or a mono and Oba over here Francesco bot is going to get torpedoed to death. No, oh, it's... <laughs> wow. Not sure that's the most brilliant thing for a cruiser to be doing, running broadside to a whole bunch of battleships. But, you know, hey, he did take out the bot. We'll just push up this side a little bit, see if we can't take him out before we start switching our guns around to the other side. Now you notice I'm kind of cheating here and sitting behind the Ganizen or the Renown. Um, you guys know how auto aim works with uh, two ships in close proximity. Alright, put shots out on him. Alright, we need to start really thinking about getting our guns switched around. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one more shot out at the New Mexico. I'm going to move just a little bit so when I when I do this shot, then I can start flipping guns quick. All right, we should go get him out of the game. Let's get the guns going around. That's disappointing. But, you know, like I was saying in the intro, these ships kind of, you know, to me, Fuso and Nagato, they're really just, they're just nice, pleasant ships to learn on. Now, since we're at lower tier, and if there's any beginner players that's are, that are watching this, you notice I'm not, I'm not doing this all the time. I'm not staying laser focused on a guy, because, you know, there's a Japanese cruiser out there that could be launching torpedoes at me. And we're going to run into an island if we're not paying attention. You know, I'm changing my speed up just in case. I mean, I know he's pretty far out there, but I don't want to blunder into torpedoes by accident. We will pop a heel here as we're getting HE spammed. And then let's see if he gives us a nice shot. All right, we're going to precise aim up. I think he will. Let's see if I let him right. No, not quite. He's, he's, he's a little wiggly. So now I've got the big question of, it. you know, do I continue to chase the cruiser that, that's not going to give me, you know, a, a strong target to shoot at? Or do I, okay, so, you know, our, our battleship's almost dead over there. Let's see if I can lob the island. I should be able to. So, yeah, this should work out perfect for me. Should be able to get a... Nice hit on him. Um, this run. Okay, well, he's going to shoot at me. I thought maybe. Oh, yeah. Uh, full health Florida. We'll take this on. Now I'm going to. You know, I'm going to, you know, bob and weave a little bit here. I'm going to change my speed up because there should be another shot coming out here soon if he's looking at me. Nope, he's going to shoot at the Renown. Renown, don't blame him. Get a get a ship out of the game. You know, and don't shoot at me, because I just want to sit there and farm damage off of you. You know, my cooldown, uh, my uh, repair kit cooldown's coming off. Uh, it was very low, so I'm going to go hit a heal up here. And, you know, I'm not afraid to take this fight now. 
at close range with this guy. So we're going to do a precise aim up. Let's we'll see if we can hit a main gun. Nope, <laughs> we just overshot. That's me being a smartass. Alright, let's try not to overshoot it. Let's see if we can take some of these guns out. Now, that's the one thing... And I've been playing a couple different ships today, so it's one thing I kind of spaced on is is you got to watch the Japanese dispersion. Sometimes it gets a little trolly and wants to. I'm going to pop that just for the heal. A little extra hit points there. And we should take this guy out a little bit. All right, with that shot. So the thing with Japanese dispersion you got to watch for, sometimes the dice roll goes bad and everything's going to overshoot. Um... It just happens. I, I've, I've shown it on my Amagi videos. And I've seen it countless times. Okay, so... The Fuso. You know, we did 69,000 tier 6. You know, it's a nice game. I wish I would have uh, done a little bit better, but I came out top of the team. Even against some tier 7s. You know, like I said, it's a solid ship. You know, you're not as, you're not as, um, tied to an area like you are with, say, like, you know, the, uh, American slow battleship line, the Vermont line. You're not tied to a, a central location. You're a little, a little more room to move with these ships. You got a little more speed to work with. Um, you know, technically speaking, you have more precision with your shots. So they're, uh, you know, they're nice, solid ships to be working on. Not quite as basic as, like, say, the Vermont. Like I said, you, you've got to be care a little more careful with your positioning. Especially early game with them. But besides that, you know, that's what you should expect with these ships. You know, nice, nice, solid, you know, 50, 60,000 games with it. And that'll get you up to the Tier 7 in no time. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later.